In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create player navigation at the slide level. By default, when you create a slide in Articulate Storyline, you're going to get a Previous Next button like we see in this example. But not all slides require a Previous Next button. For example, if we look at the Welcome screen here, the requirement is that the learner inputs a name and then hits the Submit button. So the navigation doesn't happen down here at a Previous Next button. The navigation happens when the learner clicks Submit. And it's the same thing here. In this example, we have a quiz intro slide. At this point, we no longer want them to click backwards or forwards. We want them to get the information, click Begin, and they go to their quiz question. And then a quiz question is also a little bit different because instead of a Previous Next button, we may have a Submit button. So let's learn how to customize these settings in Articulate Storyline. Right now we're in Story View. When you select a slide in Story View and you go over to Slide Properties, you'll notice that you have some navigation controls. And this was the slide where we entered a name and hit that Submit button, so we didn't need any player navigation. And as you can see down here at the navigation controls, the Previous and Next button are deselected. If I wanted to add a Previous Next button, I would just go ahead and select those. And then you'll notice that Storyline created the Previous Next button triggers. If I take them off, you can see that the triggers disappear. You have additional player controls here. If you click on this, you can see that you can customize the player controls. And you'll notice you can make other features on the player available. For example, there may be a slide where you only want the glossary available on one slide. So you can select glossary, and when you get to that slide, that would be available only for that slide. When you leave that slide, it would no longer be available. And the same thing with these other features. So there are a lot of things that you can do at the slide level to customize the player. Now one thing to keep in mind is that if you customize the slide at this level, then you're overriding the universal slide features that you made in your player. So if you make changes in your player and you've made changes at the slide level, you'll need to go back and modify the slide level changes. If you're inside the slide, you can make these changes as well. So let's see how that happens. I'm going to double click on the slide. And inside the slide, I can come over here to the slide layers. And on the base layer, I click this gear icon. And then opens up my slide properties. And as you can see, I have the same controls here. So slide navigation controls, and then I can customize the controls for that particular slide. And that's basically it. So when you create a slide, you'll have your player controls. But if you want to modify the player controls for specific slides, you can do that either from the slide properties in Story View, or you can come into the slide, go to the slide layers, and click the little gear icon and modify your slide properties there. Now it's just a matter of customizing your slides and applying that to your next e-learning course.